Hi, it's Miss Cindy again. It is so good to be back together for KY Connect. I loved getting to see some of you at family worship last weekend. I hope you had a good Christmas celebrating Jesus. Do you remember what the name Jesus means? That's right, it means God saves. Jesus came to save everyone, and everyone needs to know Jesus. Because Jesus was fully human, he grew up in a Jewish family in Galilee, which is right up here in Israel. After Jesus was about 30 years old, it was time for people to learn that Jesus is also fully God. Jesus and his disciples had been in Judea, which is down here. After a while, they decided to go back to Galilee. Now in between Judea and Galilee is Samaria. Now the Jewish people and the Samaritans were not friends. Many years before, the Jews in Samaria had married people who did not believe in the one true God. So most Jews avoided Samaritans. They would cross over the Jordan River and walk all the way around here to get where they needed to go, even though it took a lot longer. But Jesus wants everyone to be saved. So he and his disciples headed right through Samaria. And after they traveled a very long time, they came to the town of Sychar. Now they usually walked everywhere they went because they didn't have cars like we do. Remember that Jesus was fully human. So guess what? Jesus was tired. And it was lunchtime. So while his disciples went into town to buy some food, Jesus sat down beside a well. Now a well has water in it. When is the last time you thanked God for water? Did you know that over half of your body is really water? You even have water in your bones. You cannot live without water. And when we feel thirsty, that's God's way of telling us that we need more water to drink. Now today, if we want water, we can just walk over to the sink turn on the faucet and get clean water anytime we want. But back in Bible times, people had to carry big jars to a well most of the time. And then they would fill them up with water, which made the jars even heavier, and then carry them back home every day. It was hard work. While Jesus was sitting by the well, a woman came to get water. Now most people would get their water early in the morning or later in the evening when it was cooler outside, not at lunchtime during the hottest part of the day. Why would this woman come to the well then? Remember that Jesus is also God, so Jesus knew why. The woman had done so many bad things and no one in town wanted to be friends with her. So she always came when no one else would be there. But Jesus knew when she would come and he made sure that he was there at the same time. Now, since Jews did not usually talk to Samaritans, the woman was very surprised when Jesus asked her for a drink. And then Jesus told her that if she really realized who he was, she would be asking him for a drink and he would give her living water. She would never be thirsty again because the water would be a fresh bubbling spring within her, giving her eternal life. At first, she thought Jesus was talking about water. You know, water like we drink. Then Jesus helped her to understand who he was. He talked about some of the bad things she had done to show her that he really was God. And as they talked more, Jesus told the woman that he was the Messiah, the one who had been promised to come and save people from their sins. The woman got so excited that she left her water jar and ran to tell others about Jesus. The people there asked him to stay longer, and many Samaritans from that town believed in Jesus, that he truly is the Savior of the world. Now this fountain cannot run unless it's connected to the power. We cannot be connected to God without Jesus. But when we ask Jesus to be our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside us and we immediately receive the gift of living water. Now in this week's treasure pack, you will find a living water experiment to help you remember this truth from the Bible. 
Now I started my own experiment just a few days ago. You only need a little water and some patience. Now it took a few days, but if you look really closely, you can see that some of the beans are beginning to grow plants. Remember that just like water is absolutely necessary to give us life, the living water of Jesus is absolutely necessary for us to have eternal life. So have fun with your experiment, and we'll see you next week at KWOW Connect. Bye-bye for now.